and my name is Rosalind and welcome to my YouTube channel. My channel is all about social media and digital life skills so if that's something you're looking to learn then you're in the right place and I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. Today's video is on Apple Notes app and it's a look further into the app and what it can do. I've previously done a video on the Notes app so I'll link it up in the cards up above here and you can watch that one first if you're not too familiar with the app itself. But today I'm just going to cover a few other tips and tricks that I didn't cover in the first video to give you the full understanding of how the app works. So let's get onto my phone and start the video. Now if you have more notes in your notes app that go onto a second page, you're going to have to scroll every time you want to get to the note that's at the bottom. So this way we're going to pin a note to the top so that every time you go into your notes app it's the one at the top, particularly if you're working on a project. So all you need to do is just slide the note from left to right and you'll get a little box that says pinned. If you click on that, it will pin it to the top of the note so every time you go in, regardless of your settings, it will be pinned to the top of that folder. So if you want to unpin it, you just click on the actual note itself and it will bring up varying different options and the top one says unpin note. So just click on that and it will put your note back into the order that you have within your settings menu. Now if I go into this note, which is my Christmas present list of things I have to buy, you can see it's just a list. Now what I want to do is turn it into a to-do list and check off when I've done certain people. So if we click on the screen, that is then going to activate the keyboard for me. So just click and it will appear. And now I want to select my list. So I'm going to go to the top, I'm going to hold my finger down and click on select and drag the circle down to the bottom until I've got them all selected. Now in the middle, at just above the keyboard, there's that little tick in a circle. If I click on that, it's going to turn it into a checklist for me. So now what I can do is as I'm shopping and I'm buying presents, I can tick them off on my list to say that I've actually done those. So just clicking away again now in the screen anywhere, it then offers me this choice if I actually want to enable the automatic sorting, and I do. So here I can see that the first Christmas present that I've bought, I can just click on the circle and it will input a tick for me to tell me that I've actually done that present and I don't need to worry about that. And once it's ticked, it will then move to the bottom of the list. So all the ones that I still need to do are showing me at the top. So this is a very good way of keeping up to date with what you're doing and where you are in buying your Christmas presents or whatever list you might be you might have here in your folders. And what I like about this is it doesn't actually delete the ones that you've done. It still leaves them there, but it just lets you know that you've completed that task and you can move on to the next one. So now I want to add a page from another app into this notes list. So you can see I've got my Christmas food shopping list just under my present list. So what I want to do is I want to go into Google and I want to search for a menu and a recipe of how to cook my turkey. My turkey is in my food shopping list. So I want to attach the recipe for cooking the turkey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Google and I'm just going to search for how to cook a turkey and I'm just going to scroll until I find the recipe that I like and I find one here that is from uh, Jamie Oliver I'm just going to scroll and have a look at that's the one I definitely want to use so once you find the page that you want to attach to your note you want to click on it and then you can have a look at the recipe that you're thinking about using in your note to cook your turkey so just scroll until you find the recipe you want and I found one here that I'm going to use which is from Jamie Oliver so I'm just going to check that the instructions are correct and I understand what I'm supposed to do and this is the one I want to embed into my notes so once you've found the page you'll notice that at the bottom there's a square with an upward arrow in it which is your share icon so you want to click on that and then that will ask you where you want to share it 
Now there's varying places you can share this. You can airdrop it somewhere, you can email it, you could send it to somebody else if you wanted to recommend this recipe somebody else to use. But what we're doing here is we want to embed it into our notes for how to cook the turkey into our Christmas food shopping list. So you'll see that it's not actually giving me that option straight away. I need to click on the more to bring up that option of the notes. So just click more and it will give you some suggestions here and you can see that notes is the one. So click on notes and then it's going to ask if you want to set up a new note or you want to embed it in one of the ones that you've already made, which I do. So I'm just going to double click on the Christmas food shopping list and it's going to embed it in that note for me. So now when we go back to our notes list, you can see the Christmas food shopping list has got the turkey screen next to it. And if I click on it and go into it, I can see the screen is there. And then I can click into the turkey picture and it will show me the recipe. So that's all in my notes app, all under my shopping list. So looking at our notes, we actually see that they're listed. And we can also see them in a different view if we like. So if we just put our finger on the screen and drag it down, you'll see that under the notes tab on the left, there's a orange little box with squares in it. If we click on that, it will then turn the notes into little pictures. So if that's the view we want, we can choose that. Or we can sort by the title or sort by the date and change the way that the notes app is showing our notes to us. And we can also click on the search bar and we can type something here into the search where it's going to look through the notes. So I'm just going to search turkey and it's going to come up with any note that has the word turkey in it for me. So I can double click on either of those and it's going to take me into the individual note. So if you have a long list of different notes that you're looking at and you have two or three different notes with that word in it, it will show you all of them that you have and you can double click on the one that you want to go into. So it's a very good way of searching through all your notes if you've got loads of them in your folders and you're just looking for one specific one. So as well as changing the order and the way that we view our notes in our notes app on a particular folder, we can actually go into the settings on our home page and go into the preferences for the notes. So here we can see at the bottom, we can sort the notes by the date edited or any other option here by just clicking there and amending it. Now this will change all your settings for your notes. So any single folder that you go into, you will now be setting them from here and then they'll be looking the same every time you go into them. Now the other thing we can do is we can add the notes app to our control center. So if we go into settings and we go into control center at the top there, you'll see we get the option to customize the controls. So click on customize controls and it will show you all the ones in the red circle are on your control center and all the ones below in green are options to add to your control center. So if you click on notes, that will remove it from the green and add it up to the top section to show that it's in your control center. So now what you can do is you can swipe up from your home page to get to your notes app instead of having to unlock and go through your notes app the usual way. So depending on the model of iPhone you have, swiping up or swiping down to get you to the control center, you'll see it's added the notes at the bottom right. It's the last one being added. So click on there to take you into notes and you can start typing a new one immediately or you can go back to your folders one click and you'll see all your notes there. So now having watched part one and part two of the notes app, you're going to be completely familiar with it and hopefully you're going to enjoy using it and it's going to help make your life a little bit easier with all those things you have to remember to do. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and I'd love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also if you have any questions or comments, then please put them in the comment section down below so I can reply. So thanks again for watching this video and until next time, bye.